and welcome to the Satisfied Precon Learning Center. My name is Christine Lockwood. I'm the Customer and Employee Success Manager here at Satisfied. These video sessions are here to help you take full advantage of Satisfied Precon and to help you improve your customer experiences. In this video, you'll learn about user management. User management is a great tool for our users with admin privileges to see who has access to your customer experience data, what data they have access to, and be able to add, modify, or remove any users as your company continues to grow and change. Here's how to use the Satisfied User Management feature. To access user management, navigate to Administration, User Management. From here, I can add, search, export, and disable users. To add a user, select the Add button or click the User Settings tab at the top. Add in all associated information for that user, including first and last name, time zone, and email address. To quickly find what you're looking for, you can use the search feature at the top of each dropdown by entering in a few letters of text. For example, I'm on Central Time, so I will search for Central in the drop-down box to navigate the large selection easier. You will be asked to create a login ID for each user. I will make the login ID for my new user the same as his email address to keep things easy. John Smith at Satisfied.com I then need to update his status. An active status means he will have access to Satisfied Precog and a disable status means their login ID will no longer be given access. So I will select active when creating this new user. I also have the option to select which locations or business units data they will have access to seeing. In this case, I will give access to only the Joliet and Naperville locations. In addition to selecting business unit access, I also need to assign a system role to the user. You can read more about the different levels of system role access using the URL link in the description below. For this user, I will select Dealer. The last item to set up under the account profile is any notification or subscriptions I would like John to receive. It's not required to put anything here, but we created this for an easy option to get your team set up and running. John can always go back into his account and update or change these notifications and subscriptions later. Once done, click Create User. You can now see the new user added under the User Management tab. To confirm their account access, you can simulate the user you just created. Select the user using the check mark on the left hand side to highlight the user and then hit Simulate. A pop-up box will appear. When it does, select Simulate Now, and the new simulated user profile will appear in a new tab. You are able to see that John's new account only has access to the Joliet and Naperville locations as selected in his user settings. To easily search for a user, you can use the Find Users box above, sort columns by selecting the tabs at the top, or export all users to an Excel spreadsheet. To deactivate a user, select the user once again from User Settings and select the User Settings tab. Scroll down to Status and select Disable. This user login ID will no longer have access to your account data in Satisfied Precog. For questions, email support at Satisfied.com or check out some of our additional Satisfied Precog training videos. Thank you.